Hello and welcome to your Warhammer 40,000 Battle Force purchasing guide for 2022. I'm not sure how helpful this guide will be considering quite a few of the popular Battle Forces are already out of stock. This is one of the uh, first Christmases where we weren't really given the pricing um, that far before they were released. Uh, typically they, they bring out a um, holiday guide at some point in November uh, with the pricing for all the battle forces and the contents and things like that. And some of the battle forces are different prices than others. This year they're all straight up £130. And they contain considerably less models than years before. And there are some questionable decisions. More so in these Warhammer 40,000 um, battle forces. So let's get straight into the uh, guide. So here are the uh, Warhammer 40,000 battle forces. Well, there's a few of them here on the very first uh, page of the web store. I know what the pre-orders are for this weekend coming up. Saturday the 10th of December. Um, I'm quite surprised that we've not had the Slaves to Darkness uh, releases, even though the um, army box set was uh, released two or three weeks ago now. I guess they're going to be straight away. I guess they're going to be released first thing in January. Anyway, if we just click on shop now, it should show all the Warhammer 40,000 ones. <laughs> and uh, straight away, here they are. <laughs> the majority sold out, five of them. Um, they're all £130. We're just going to go through each of these as they are as they're presented and then I'll discuss which is the best one in terms of value and also my take on which is the best one. Um, it's a little bit biased of course because you know it's skewed towards the armies that I collect and what I would want to expand on um, but uh, let's just focus on the Imperial Fist's Bastion Strike Force first of all. £130 here um, doesn't seem very min many miniatures for you know, 130 pounds. You've got 19 uh, miniatures here with Tor Garadon. It consists of Tor Garadon, uh, three aggressors. Um, I'm thinking that the aggressors are the, the multi-part kit. Uh, they seem to be because the monopose kit just has the flamers, but you know, these, um, but these aggressors always look like they're kind of fallen over. Uh, they look completely different to the heavy intercessors it's important to note that you get 15 heavy intercessors so three packs of five uh, which you can see and they're in much much better poses considering they've got the same you know gravis armor as the uh, aggressors um yeah much better poses and then you get uh, two uh, imperial fist primaris upgrade frames so all you're really getting is I say three units, you're getting two different units here and Tor Garadon. So a unit of three aggressors and 15 heavy intercessors. Unfortunately, they take, haven't taken the opportunity to give you kind of 15 that all look different. Uh, I guess you could possibly have 15 that look different. But uh, yeah, they've, they've kind of copy and pasted five of them, you know, three times. It's a bit of a shame, bit of a letdown that, that set. Um, but £130 for those. All of the units in that set uh, would normally cost you £194.50. Uh, so if the set is £130, you're going to save £64.50. So that's a 33% saving. Pretty good if you get 20% discount, you're going to be saving 53%. So more than half price uh, for this set. Um, if we move on to the Raven Guard, Raven Strike Battle Force, which in my opinion is probably one of the worst um, battle forces uh, that they've uh, brought out. Very, very lazy. An obvious um, way to, to shift these Invictus War Suits. You're only getting 17 miniatures in this set. Um, you're getting Kayvan Strike, one Librarian in Phobos armor, which we've all got about 10 of those, uh, two Invicta Tactical War Suits, three Eliminators, and 10 Reavers. Uh, this set uh, would normally cost you £195, so very similar to the Imperial Fist set, uh, and that means that with it being 130 you're saving £65.50, uh, which is another 33% saving. 
the Adeptus Mechanicus Elimination Mana Pool, uh, which I've been on the fence about um, picking up for ages, but it does have Belisarius calling, and I've already got Belisarius, so I might as well just get these miniatures um, individually at my own leisure. But this set um, would normally cost you £184.50, so that's a saving of £54.50. And this elimination mana pool uh, consists of Belisarius Call, one Cybernetica Data Smith, two Castellan Robots, six Cataphron Destroyers. You can also build them as Breachers, and ten Skitari Rangers, which can also be built as uh, Vanguard. Now, this set um, individually would cost you £884.50, uh, with the price of being £130, then you're saving £54.50. So that's a 30% saving. So with a 20% discount, it's 50% off, really. Um, I can see why it's popular, but for me, because it has Belisarius calling, I might as well just get all of these miniatures uh, individually and not have to pay that sort of 20 to 30 pounds, because obviously that would reduce the, the savings for me in this set. Then uh, a sold out um, Battle Force, the Thousand Sons um, Battle Force. Uh, pretty interesting that that was sold out it's no longer available um, but uh, it consists of of course uh, Magnus uh, Primark 24 miniatures in this one um, you're getting three exalted sorcerers and 20 Rubik Marines so only 24 miniatures here you know having Magnus the red uh, in this set really does reduce uh, the number of minis um, it would normally cost you 201 pounds because Magnus is you know basically a hundred pounds 95 pounds this is where it's really odd having a hundred pound miniature in a 130 pound battle force set um the total saving is 71 pounds so that does offer you a nice juicy saving of 35 percent so if you haven't got any thousand sons uh by now um and you certainly don't have magnus or you've got some thousand sons but you wanted to have a uh some reinforcements because it's not even like a big army now uh, this uh, then you know you can do it this way and save yourself you know 55 percent in, in total another um, battle force which i was really surprised at being out of stock um was the adeptus sororitas sanctum guard it contains 23 plastic minis it has morven val the abbas sanctorum of the adeptus sororitas six paragon war suits five celestian sacrosants and 10 battle sisters um you can build them as dominions and or celestians um really is up to you i mean the battle sister squad is great the sacrosons are fantastic not a big fan of the war suits or more than val i did pick them up earlier this year maybe even last year can't remember but um probably last year wasn't it uh but i did pick them up and um I did do reviews and things of them, so you can find them on this channel. Uh, but in terms of price for the Adeptus Sororitas and um, Battle Force, all of these miniatures um, separately would cost you £191. So that's a saving of £61. You're only saving 32%. That's worth saving so far in these Battle Force uh, purchasing guide. Then uh, we've got another uh, battle force. Now I was expecting this one to be sold out pretty quickly, and it was. Uh, it's the Imperial Knights Chainbreaker Lance. Everybody loves Imperial Knights. Um, you know, it's multi-purpose uh, kit as well because you can use these um, with your Titans. You can use them as Chaos Knights as well. Uh, fantastic set. 130 pounds. Very decent considering. You know, normally one of these. Uh, Imperial Knights is about 100 now. So you're kind of getting, um, you know, one of the sets uh, of the armages for free. Typically, uh, so you can see right there, it consists of an Imperial Knight. So there's a full, full kit that I think you can build probably like eight different knights maybe. Um, and then you've got two armages and two Halverins. Normally that would cost you £205. So that means you're saving £75. So it's a whopping 37% saving, um, best saving so far in this guide. Then uh, you've got the Death Guard, Council of the Death Lord. Um, again, another really expensive miniature in this uh, Battle Force. 20 um, plastic miniatures for this one. You see, can see it includes Mortarion, 
five Blight Lord Terminators and 14 Plague Marines. I mean, when you look at it, you think, oh, 14 Plague Marines, that, that's a lot. But you only get seven in a box. So you're only getting three units and Mortarion uh, in this set. So four? Uh, not many, is it, when you look at it that way? Four different units uh, in a battle force. Crazy. This Mortarion Battle Force, as I call it, uh, total value is £196, so you're saving £66 or 34%. Not too bad of a saving. If you haven't started Death Guard uh, or you've only got a couple of models and you're really itching to get Mortarion, I would recommend this set. Um, you know, you're pretty much saving 54% if you get a 20% discount. But again, that's no longer available. And then finally, another set that I kind of thought I had an inkling that Henry Cavill would be buying multiple of these and he did um, because this set is the Adeptus Custodes Watchers of the Gate it consists of 22 um, miniatures uh, you've got the Captain General Trajan Valoris three Virtus Praetors uh, three Alaris uh, Custodians and 15 Custodian Guards so yes you're getting a decent number of units in this set you know uh, three sets of Custodian Guards one set of, cust of Alaris Custodians that's four five with the praetors six with um captain general so six units here um pretty good and buying all of these separately uh would cost you 202 pounds 50 which means that's a saving of 72 pound 50 it's the second best saving out of all the sets at 36 percent so that's it for all of these battle forces the kit that has the best saving is, of course, that Imperial Knights Chainbreaker Lamp, but followed very closely by the Adeptus Custodes set. Then the Thousand Sons Court of the Crimson King Battle Force, the Council of the Death Lord, the Ravenstrike Battle Force, joint place with the Imperial Fist Bastion Strike Force, the Adeptus Sororitas Sanctum Guard, and finally, the Adeptus Mechanicus Elimination Mana Pool. Um, so take that as you will. Um, I think the two best sets uh, are at both ends of the spectrum. You know, uh, I think the Chainbreaker Lance is probably the best set out of these. And it also offers you the best saving, but also consists of those armagers, which are, you know, four years old and um, not, not too old. Uh, and then the other set, which is one of my favourites, is the Elimination Manipul, which is the other end of the spectrum, which offers you the least saving. And I think it was a, a coupling of it being the least value set um, of all of these and the fact that it has Belisarius in there that ultimately put me off getting the Elimination Manipul. Um, I would now would rather try and pick up two um, combat patrols at a discount than the elim elimination uh, mana pool. But what do you guys think um, of all of these battle forces? I hope this guide has been uh, useful to you. I know most of them are sold out by now. You might be able to pick them up from your local hobby store uh, at a discount if they still do them. Uh, very popular this year. I'm not sure if they're more popular this year than they have been for previous years, um, but it was very difficult for me to pick up the other battle forces um, the last few years. And it's really odd to be in a position where in 2022, Super Saiyan is not picking up any of the uh, battle forces. What do you guys think? of all of them uh, please put in the comments below uh, which battle forces you were able to snag this year uh, and i say it every year it really is worth you um, using the element games affiliate link in the description and putting the crystal code in so you can build up those crystals and eventually just spank them all on uh, these sets towards the end of the year so not only do you get your 30 32 to 37 percent off the sets from games workshop you're then getting an additional 20 percent from element and then you're getting you know if you bought a few items over the year probably 30 to 40 pounds off the set at, on top of that and um, so you could come out with some of these sets only costing you about 60 pounds which is what they're worth <laughs> on that bombshell uh, thank you ever so much for uh, joining me today thank you for watching 
the Emperor protects.